Hello and welcome to the OWC instructional series of videos. In this installment, we'll show you how to upgrade the hard drive in the early 2011 and mid-2012 15-inch MacBook Pro. We'll be upgrading a 2011 MacBook Pro in this video, but the steps and positions of everything are identical for the 2012 model. We've already transferred our data to the new drive, gathered our materials, shut down the MacBook Pro, and have placed it on a soft, static-free work surface. We are now ready to begin. The first step is to close the MacBook Pro and flip it over. On the bottom are 10 Phillips screws. The three on the upper right are longer than the others, so remove those first. You can now remove the remaining seven screws, which are all the same size. When lifting the cover off, there will be some snaps holding it in, so you may have to gently pull a bit to free them. The hard drive is located here. First though, we need to disconnect the battery connector, which is located here. Use a nylon pry tool to gently lift the connector free from the logic board. Once it's disconnected, we can then safely remove the hard drive. To remove the hard drive, we first need to detach the retainer bar, which is held in place by these two screws. Once you've removed the retainer bar, lift up on the plastic tab to pull the hard drive out of the bay. Then, gently detach the SATA connector. On the hard drive, there are four Torx T6 mounting pins which we'll need to remove. Once that's done, gently peel off the plastic tab. You can now set the hard drive aside and prep the new drive. You can install either a standard 2.5 inch hard drive or a 2.5 inch solid state drive in the drive bay. For this installation, we're installing an OWC Mercury Extreme Pro SSD. Hold the new drive face up with the SATA connector facing away from you. Then, rotate it 90 degrees counterclockwise. Attach the plastic tab on this edge by pressing it firmly against the drive. There should be enough residual adhesive to allow it to stick. Next, attach the four Torx T6 mounting pins to these four holes. The drive is now ready to install. Line up the SATA connector on the drive with the MacBook Pro's cable and gently slide the two pieces together. Slide the two pins closest to you into the grommets in the MacBook and angle the new drive in so that it lays flush in the bay. Replace the retaining bar and tighten the two screws. You may now reattach the battery and put the bottom cover into place. Press down in these two spots to secure the two snaps. Reinsert the bottom screws starting with the longer three in the upper right corner. Then replace the remaining seven screws. You may now flip your MacBook Pro over, open it up, and turn it on.